everybody welcome to GM Crafts weekly Wednesday live how are you all have you had a good week I'm dying to know what you've been up to have you been crafting what have you been making this week I've not got Anya again with me this evening but I do have Adam so thank you very much to Adam for joining us good evening Adam good evening everybody I've been field crafting He's been field crafting, bless him. So, Anya has more or less recovered from COVID, but she's unfortunately still testing positive. So we couldn't obviously have her with us again this evening. She is on the other side of the screen with you. For those of you that comment for any questions or links, Adam will obviously answer where he can, but it will come up as me, I do believe. I don't think it will come up as work. No, it'll probably come up as you. Yeah. But Anya will comment um, as GM Crafts on, on the post as we go through the live. Um, and then it will be whoever after the live's ended. It might be myself, it might be Anya, or it might be Alicia. So once the live has ended, please feel free to comment and carry on asking questions as you wish. Um, we will post it back to our Facebook page and you'll be, it will be there forevermore. So you can use it and obviously ask us anything you like. We'll also be posting it on YouTube, so if you're watching this on YouTube, it'll be popped, on, popped onto YouTube later on this evening. So again, if you've got any questions, please feel free to ask away and we will do our best to help you. And um, I've got lots and lots and lots to tell you. Did you see our sneak preview that I put on earlier on this afternoon for you to have a nosy at? Um, there is so many things every week that I come and bring to you and talk to you about on the lives and every week I think I'm never going to be able to remember anything extra new to tell you but there's always new to tell you and I've got more new to tell you tonight. Now I know some of you were asking over the last few weeks could I please bring you a scan and cut live. I have to admit it is here but I only unboxed it this morning so me and the scan and cut have become very firm friends very quickly and I will tell you why in a moment. But I'm not um, going to do lots and lots on the on the live with it because I want to talk about all the other things as well. But I will in the next week or so do you a blog and start moving forward with showing you some of the things that you can do with it. But I also have another idea to help you. And I don't know whether any of you used to watch Create and Craft, but Create and Craft had a gentleman that I used to know and work with called John Bloodworth. Um, he's a gentleman crafter and he went up and down the country raising money for Mind in a little motorhome and then did the Yorth Counties Challenge, which was another charity thing. But the object of it was he created some incredible online lessons and different demonstrations and tutorials and classes, which he continues to do. And he's agreed to join with us and he is offering us a discount on that for you. So if that's of interest to you, it's on the scan and cut and he'll talk you through the basics and he'll talk you through the more, more advanced or whatever you want in between. He has so many different choices available for you and he's given us a five day discount code and I do have, and Anya, I've given it to Anya, all the details to share with you on that should you wish. So do let us know if that was of interest to you. But John's got some incredible tutorials that he's teaching people on how things, what different things this machine can do. This, the Scan and Cut range is quite incredible and unique. It's very different to the crickets and it's very different to the silhouette. And the main function that is so different is it has its own onboard scanner. So you could, for argument's sake, draw out this number 25 on a piece of paper, pop it on your scanning mat, run it through the machine using the machine's settings and it will scan and create it as a cut file. You can also scan when you've got lots of little de bead details. So for example, one of the cut files from tonight's free download is these lovely flowers. Um, I'm gonna try and, sh if I get time, show you how to sh shape and sculpt them. But we do have a tutorial on our blog that already covers that. Should you want the link, please let us know. But you could put the load of these on your cutting mat, on your canvas workspace, which I'll talk to you about in a moment. And then you think, oh, I need to use up some scrap card. Put your scrap card all over your cutting mat, scan it in, and then you can move your designs to match where that scrap card is on your cutting mat, meaning you waste absolutely nothing. Um, and it really is a fabulous tool that, it, that that just in itself is just fantastic. Takes a lot of the guesswork out. If you've got one small design or a couple of designs, and you're not quite sure where it is on the map in relation to what you're doing, then that is a really great tool for you. 
But what really, really floated my boat when I got this out of the box this morning was its auto blade on this SDX model. This is the XDX 900, and again, we've got all the links, so do let us know if you want them, along with the cut files, and I will talk to you in a moment about our discount code. But when I got this out of the box this morning, I was a little bit concerned, and in fact, I actually did message John and said to John, so wish me luck, me and the uh, SDX are going to get acquainted. And he said, you'll be fine, don't worry about it, you'll be absolutely fine. And do you know what, he was absolutely right. I have always used a CM900 or a CM300 scanning cut prior to this. So the auto blades was a bit of a mystery to me. But basically, and I will show you in a few moments, that I followed this step-by-step -step instruction manual that came with it to create this lovely little gift box as one of the onboard cut files. And I just popped the machine, put the mat in the machine, put the card on the mat, the mat in the machine, followed the simple step by steps, thinking, how on earth is this going to work? You don't add cut settings, you don't need to do anything. You load it in, it taps the paper or the card or whatever it is you're using, it uses that feedback, and I'm not joking, it cut it absolutely perfectly. And I was thinking, well, this is a lucky fluke. So I put some of our mirror card on chose one of the onboard cutting files which are on there and which i'll talk to you about in a moment and i chose it just literally put the mat in with our and i'm thinking this is never going to work and it did it perfect first time and i'm going to show you that in just a moment adam's sighing over there like he's got something to ask no I no no oh, okay so the i can't reply anymore because apparently i'm signed in as gm crafts and it's just kicked on you off Ah. So, so they're going to have to do without my witty repartee. Oh, um, well, you just have to give it to us vocally in polite ways, obviously. I can't always do that. You can. Okay. Last week on Instagram, Adam ended up going on a tangent, telling everybody that I wasn't going to, what I was doing wasn't going to work, and they all told him off. And there was pasties. And there was yes, you'd even discuss pasties. Yeah. So maybe it's not a bad thing that you can't comment. Probably. Probably. So anyway, the scanning cut. What else can I tell you about it? Well, I want to talk to you about its onboard files. We've got three models on the website. There's three to choose from, the CM300 and two SDX ranges. Now, this new SDX900 is one of their latest machines. It's got the new integrated and upgraded roller system. It's so quiet when you use it. I would, I would dread to use the old CM900 that I've got because I've had that for about 10 years now and it'd be quite noisy on a live but this is not noisy at all and I'm really really quite pleased with that because it works brilliantly which I'll show you. What else about it? Well it's got lots of different compartments and storage facilities and features. It comes with its own little toolkit which is ideal for when you get started. Obviously it comes with its own blade which we have spares of on the website. I also got two cutting mats in my box, which I was delighted by. And it comes with a spatula, and it also comes with a little pokey tool, as I'd like to call it, although it's called a stylus, but to me it's a pokey tool. It, when you buy the scan and cuts from us, you get uh, technical support always, obviously, and you've got a three-year extended warranty, which is not available from other retailers necessarily. Um, but we've got a three-year UK-based extended warranty. So the UK service centre that we have teamed with will service your needs up, up, up until and beyond the three years of lifespan, should you need it. I have to say, touch wood, in, in the eight, nine years, I think it is, I've had mine. I've never needed any help or support with it. It's been brilliant. On board, you can use it with the software that's on the computer. It has a web-based software called Canvas Workspace, which is free. And it is constantly free. You, you've got all sorts of fonts and different designs. They put new projects on every month. There's new projects every month for you for free. And they don't charge you. So you don't have to worry like you do with some of the software that you click it, you go to cut it, and then it goes, sorry, you need to pay for that. There's none of that. You also have on board the machine seven on this particular model. They all vary on what, um, and that's the biggest differences, I think, between the models, amongst other things. And I'm sure John will curse me for not telling you all the details. But um, there is seven fonts on board. So on this one, there is seven fonts. So the full alphabet of seven fonts, which you can resize, add together. You can weld. You can do all of those things. 
On board you have 582 different designs and I'm going to show you some of those in a moment plus 100 quilting patterns. Now those designs can be rescaled from literally 3 mil all the way up to 12 inches square or equivalent of. So there really is a plethora of choices that you can use for that. You can on the on software you can merge them, you can weld them. It allows you to do a lot more than any normal machine. But you can also do all of those activities and more on the Canvas workspace on your computer. And you can download it. So you don't have to use it on the web. There is a download function for it, which then just puts it as a desktop um, device. And then you just run it like that. The other alternative you can use, which I think is fabulous with the Scan & Cut, is it has a USB socket to the side. That USB socket allows you to put a USB memory card in like this little one I've got here and they hold thousands of little designs and they what you can preload your cut files onto that which means if you go to the caravan or you go on holiday or you might want to go to the, another room of the house which I may have to do if this heat continues you don't then need to take your computer with you you can just put your little cut files on there pop it in your machine and you can cut directly from those bring it into your little screen and you can mix and match them as much as you like it is very very controllable which is ideal and gives you a lot more variety and a lot more choices which i like um, and it means then if you are off grid for whatever reason or you just need to change room you can just pick your machine up and take it with you again similarly if you go to craft fairs crops craft shows anything like that and you want to take your machine and you want to be able to or you've got a little craft shop that you or a little market stall that you go to you can take this along and you can personalize on the go which gives you a lot more possibilities and a lot more things you can provide your customers because you can add anybody's name on the software here you can resize it you can make it smaller or as big as you like and then you can you're good to go so it really is very very useful you're right over there, Adam. Well, I'm being blinded by the sun, but I was trying to wait for you to take a breath, but apparently you didn't. Oh. Um, Maureen Simpson has asked, compared to the cricket, how good is the cutting on the scan and cut? It's fantastic. I'm going to show you in a moment. Uh, it's, it, it cut by itself. I didn't need to set the cut setting. You can alter it in the software. There's lots of different settings on there, including speed and pressure. And again, there are lots of online tutorials, not just John Bloodworth's, uh, The Gentleman Crafter, but there are lots of online tutorials. And of course, we've also, we, we will be bringing you some bits on our blog too. Um, but it is, in, it is as you can go into the finer detail if you want to, but you wouldn't need to very often because this, unless you really want to, because the auto blade does all the hard work and takes all the guesswork out of it, which if you're a starting crafter, I think it's incredible because then that just means that you can concentrate on using you could you wouldn't even need to do anything else you could just use our free files there is dozens of those on our website plus we've also now got that cut file section with over 600 designs that you can download for 99p each um, and then you've got the onboard files which again you can use and then you can just pop the material you want on pop it in it takes the thinking out of it and brings back the pleasure in your crafting, which is what the Scan and Cut is all about. So, let me show you some of its cut files. What have I just done? Just put the tool in there. You're right over there. Yeah, I'm just trying not to be blinded by the laser beam of the sun. I can't put anything in the way for you either, can I? Sorry, I'm just trying to... No, that's not helping you at all, is it? It's at the wrong angle for you. So let me get my little stylus out. Now, Adam, you're going to have to lead me on whether you can see the screen. So I'll switch it on. Can you see the screen? Yeah. Yeah? Is it perfect? Can you see it all right? I can't see myself. Yes. 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 Yeah. Okay. So on our TikTok live... This is some of the card I cut earlier today on it. So on our TikTok live, I cut the word anniversary out of our mirror card. But mirror card, you might say that's really easy. So I'm going to cut something out of our non-shed glitter card now and just show you. And um, it's very, very easy. We also have on our website, I'm just going to move this to the side a moment. We also have on our website lots of blogs and tutorials showing you how to clean your mat, how to calibrate your machines, um, how to care for your mat, 
Um, you do get two cutting mats in here with it. Now, can you see the cutting mat to the side on camera, Adam? Hang on. He's got a few seconds lag behind me. Yeah. Uh, can I see the cutting mat? Not really, no. You can now. Right, so I've got to be very careful because I've I don't want to overstick this to it. This is our non shed glitter card, and I'll, I'll show you some of our other glitter cards shortly. But I'm going to put it on the mat, I'm going to have to put it on the table to do it, but then I'm just going to tap this in place. I'm not pressing it because this mat is so sticky, I don't want the card to be stuck permanently after I've cut it. So I'm just tapping it in three places, and I'm going to load it into the machine. And it's so simple to load. You just press the load button, which is the mat, and that loads or unloads it, depending on what it's doing at the time. Now, while that loads, just want to talk to you about our discount code tonight. So our paper craft section has grown, and we're now, because of the scanning cut and because we are getting a lot more requests from you guys to bring out bigger size card, we have increased our A4 selection to now a 12 by 12 selection as well. So we've now got 12 by 12 on in the paper craft section and Anya has all the links to share with you tonight. So please do comment if you'd like those links. This discount code will give you 10% off all of our paper craft section from tonight, which is July the 13th, all the way through to midnight on Friday, which is July the 15th, 2022. And we'll give you 10% if you add this paper 10 discount code into your uh, checkout at the end off our card so that's off the 12 by 12 and the a4 card it will also give you 10 percent off our transfer adhesive which i'll talk about in a few moments our new glue which i don't even have here yet tonight but hopefully i'll get some of that for next week or the week after and also our mylar which again i will talk to you about shortly because this machine doesn't just cut paper and card it doesn't just cut vinyl it also cuts up to three mil so it will cut your cork it will cut mylar it will cut uh, acetate sheets it will cut little um what's that wood oh uh balsa, balsa wood yeah there is so many different materials this beauty will cut um, and again you have different tools that we have on the website different blades available as well and of course it's extremely popular with quilters um so do you know if, if you if you know a quilter and they're really interested in somebody here's sabrina lappy sabrina lappy so said we'd love to know about the discount code have we mentioned that tonight yeah that's what i'm just talking about this 10 percent discount code were you just talking about that yeah but you'll be behind won't you probably yeah so paper 10 is your 10 percent discount on our paper craft section tonight well, the other discount code you might be asking about is those training courses for the Scan and Cut. Ah, yes, could be. If she'd like to clarify, then obviously Anya can send her both links if she wants, yeah. or, or either or, um, and we'll get those links to, and information to you. So, right, I've loaded my mat. You need to get your elbow off that. Oh. I've loaded my mat. Can, I wonder what would be here. Can you see my screen all right? Uh... Yes, yes, I can see it really well. Okay, so I just want to take you home, as they call it. So this is the home screen. On the scanning cut, this particular model, there is, as I said earlier, over 580, I think it's 582 designs. There's 100 different quilting patterns, and there's also seven different fonts. And you can buy through scanner cut if you want on their website. You can buy more fonts and different things to download to your machine but there is even more on their canvas workspace which is free um, and you can obviously use those and then just download the cut file that you've created so that when i talk about cut files there is lots of different things so you've got the shapes basic shapes so you've got squares triangles circles but then you've got some really strange or maybe not so strange and these allow you to create different models so i remember making using this one to make a, a roof of a house I made a box agent a long while ago when I used my scanner cut, made, made a 3D model out of it. So there's lots of different things you can do with these. There's um, hexagons, there's diamonds, there really is a whole host. There's even weird circles, like bits like pie chart bits cut out of them. Lots of different things. But when you add them together, hearts, stars, clubs, spades, so you've even got your uh, playing card symbols. And then you've got things like arrows and lots and lots of different things. Now you might think that's a bit random. But when you start mixing them together, 
especially on their canvas workspace, you really can create some very unique designs. Um, I remember once creating, I don't really remember, I remember once creating a gaming controller. For, oh, yes. For what very much looked like the Sega Saturn, I think it was, the um, a while ago now, and it, I just used all these... You mentioning a game console that very few people remember. Makes, makes me look old, doesn't it? But anyway, there, there is... It, the possibilities are endless with these shapes. Then you've got lots and lots of onboard designs. Now these are great for creating cut files. So you can make a t-shirt out of them, you can make a jumper, you could make lunchbox stickers, anything you want out of them. But they're also really good for, again, creating cards. Now I used to use these a lot for creating embellishments. So I cut this anchor earlier on. You can resize that. It's literally as tiny as you like and literally as big as the 12 by 12 mat and anything in between. But that would make a great, the anchor would make a great embellishment on a card or even as a t-shirt design for somebody who's either in, as fisherman or has any interest in the beach or sea. And you can mix and match them. So there's lots, the snowflakes, there is what you call food. So you've got carrots, apples, plums, donuts. Now this donut one would be fantastic with our sugar sprinkles pattern vinyl. Um, I may actually revisit that thought later in the week. So there is lots and lots and lots. And then you've got animals, dinosaurs, chickens, cats, dogs, sea life. There is lots and lots and lots on there. And then, of course, you've got the astrology symbols. So again, you could just create a card from that or a T-shirt design from that. And then you've got what I call the unusual items. So you've got things like the Eiffel Tower, the Arc de Triomphe, a clock. Lamp, table, you're looking like you've got a question. No, I've not got a question, just a comment. CJ Orca says, I've still got my Sega Saturn. Aha! So there you go. There somebody you go. There somebody you go. knew exactly what I was there talking you. about. Some... Anyway, I'm... Yeah. You're at Eiffel Tower, you're at Eiffel, Eiffel Tower. Tower. So you've got the Arc de Triomphe, you've got household items, mailboxes. So you can see there is, there's watering cans, tea, cups, saucers, jugs, bottles, buckets and spades. There is just so many, and we've literally hardly scraped the surface. You've got Michelle fashion. Sullivan says, are there any sheep? Let me have a look, Michelle. Yeah, come on. I want to know if there's sheep as well. Uh, right, we've got chicken, duck, bird, dog, cat, elephant, giraffe, seashell, starfish, fish, another fish, whale, dolphin, a seal, octopus, seahorse, turtle, frog, snail, Oh no, this isn't no, looking shame. good. Snail, butterfly, beetles, bees, more dinosaurs, more dinosaurs, lions, tigers, elephants, and monkeys. No sheep. No See, sheep. that's a real omission because sheep are very popular. But I do know they do have a sheep cutting file on a card, on their design canvas workspace. Oh, no, well, that's, that's good then. Yeah, they did about two years ago, they did a project and there was sheep as I recall, jumping over a card. So all those kind of cut files and all of oh, them right, are available right. on their Canvas workspace as projects that you can download and they even give you the instructions on how to do it. Wow, that's amazing. So there really is, if it's not on here, you'll find it on their design workspace. And then you've got things like your kids things and weddings and Christmas baubles. I could go on all night. There's different um, fleur-de-lis, crowns. There is... Uh, Foliage, there is oh, so much, it's just hearts, scrolls, then you've got frames, and then you've got things like these, which are ideal for scrapbooking layouts. I think you get the gist, guys, there is lots and lots on this. So that's just one, and then there's still more, there is more. So you've got words, you've got borders, you could use for rick wrap and rack and different things, there's lots and lots of borders, your fonts. More frames, and then you've got your quilting patterns, and there is lots of quilting patterns as well. So there really is a whole host of choice just on board the little on the little machine itself. But you don't have to use that. You can just use the canvas workspace. And as I said earlier, there's lots of tutorials online, including that those ones we've got the code for and the information from John Bloodworth, the gentleman crafter, who's very kindly offered to give us a discount code for you for five, the next five days. Um, he has, like many people, created some brilliant tutorials online for this. 
um, talking you through the ba very basics of getting it out of the box, setting it up. Um, although you don't even need a tutorial because that actually comes in the, in the box with you. So you get this beautiful pamphlet which talks you through some of the projects that you can do and literally step by step, including how to unwrap it, how to unbox it, how to take the stickers off it so that you because it's got lots of packaging stickers on it and then how to put it on your material on your mat and it even includes the, the material for your first project and then how to insert your blade. Is that what you cut there? That's that on top yeah, of that's it? this. Ah. That's the first project you make. That's awesome. Yeah, and that's on board, obviously. Yeah. So, and it really, it, make, it makes it so easy. It really does. I have to admit, I am struggling a bit with my eyesight and I forgot to put my glasses on. And so there I was with my torch, reading the small print. Ah. But then I put my glasses on, so I was all right after that. So, and it even talks you through what each symbol on the machine does and how you put your box together. I just look at pictures these days. Yeah. And then your mat and your blade selection. So it literally makes it as easy as it possibly can for you in the box before you've even begun, um, which I think is brilliant. Um, so let's let's choose something to cut. What shall we cut? Let's have a look. <laughs> let's choose a snowflake. Because <laughs> we could all do with cooling down a bit, couldn't we? Oh, tell me about it. In actual fact, let's let's choose something. Snowman. Yeah, there's a snowman on here. Is there? I think. I can't remember. No, there isn't. Oh. No sheep, no snow. There's flowers. Let's choose a flower. Maureen Simpson said, it looks really good. Is it less complicated than a cricket? Yes. As you can see, once you've got... I mean, the beauty of it is... Is that your opinion that yes, it is? I think it is, def definitely, because you do not... You do not have to use the, the software on your computer to start with. You could just open the box, follow this instruction leaflet, and, and make something immediately. Yeah. Then follow that same process again using any of these onboard cut files and make, and make something yourself. There's fonts, there's words, there's phrases. So, you, so there's a lot of there's flexibility. There's a lot, a lot of flexibility. And then the beauty of it is, as you get more confident, and it cuts for you, you don't have to remember cut settings because it works it out for you, itself, as I'll show you in a moment. So you could just pop it on your desk, unbox it, follow that, and, and literally that's it. And, and this is how easy it is. It, 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 it's revolutionary for me. It made my day this morning. I mean, I've always been a scan and cut fan right from the days when I had my CM300 nine, ten years ago. Um, and then I upgraded quickly after that to the CM900. Um, and I've, I've maintained and used that for a long time. I haven't used my CM900 for about two years. No, you've not. Kay Ellis has just asked, is it better than the Maker 3? The Maker 3 is different. Why? Because... The Maker 3 has the matless compatibility, so you can cut your material without using a cutting mat, which allows you to use a longer design. But if you're not wanting to use a longer, I mean, they do, they do 12 by 24 mats for the Scan and Cut. That's quite big. That's quite big. Um, but if you want to do something longer, so maybe 30 foot long, but you're still stuck to that 12 inches wide, even on the Maker 3. Um, then obviously that's that that would be your choice. Um, the, the I find the brother scan and cut for somebody who wants to just get on and craft and enjoy it. It takes that thinking away a bit. Um, I think it just comes down to what you're used to as well. Some people when they get a bit nervous of something new, they're like, well, I'll just stick with what I know. Um, they the Maker Three is a very good machine, and as you know. And that's been up until now, up until today, when I opened this box and started using this today. Yeah. That's been my go-to for the last however long. It has. Um, but this one may just pit that now to the post because of the extra abilities it has. With the scanning facility we talked about earlier. So, for example, in fact, let me show you how it does that. Yeah, just let's see it. Right, so. Uh, cut. Carol Hodge here says, I have a cricket joy and explore two and a maker and i still go to my sdx 900 
Yeah. You see, that kind of says it all, really. Yeah. I'd like to know why, just out of curiosity's sake, um, obviously I'm not going into the in-depth of, of the machine's abilities tonight because no, that would take no. ages to do that. And I'm not You're going giving to... an overview. Yeah, I'm thing. giving an overview. And I'm not going to lie, I've had a few hours with it today. Yeah. Um, so as my time with it expands, I'll be able to expand on the things I share with you. And I don't like to tell you something unless I know it's absolutely right. Um, but um, I, I just think it's lovely. Let me just cut this first. Let's do that one thing at a time. So I've gone OK. I've chose it on the map. I'm going to choose cut. You can draw. Choose draw on the software. And I'm going to start the machine. I've not set a cut setting. I've not had to tell it what material it is. Can you hear that noise? Yes, I did. That is it working out. It's cut setting. Wow. Kind of sounds like an old fashioned tease made. It does, doesn't it? Yeah, it does, doesn't it? And it's worked it out. But very quiet. But very quiet. Yeah. Look how quiet it is. I can hardly hear it, and even over here. It, it, it's incredible. One of my biggest bugbears with my old CM900, probably because it's very old as well, doesn't help, was the noise. Um, but this is a game changer for me. Right, so I'm going to eject my mat. Now, whenever I... This mat is really, really sticky. Really sticky. That's how sticky it is. That is sticky. Yeah, it is, and my hand's sweaty as well. So whenever you have a sticky mat like that, Always flex your mat backwards, especially when using card, and it just allows you to take it off. Look at that, it's witchcraft. And that is non-shed glitter card, which is quite coarse, and it cut it absolutely perfectly. Um, and I think you'll agree. I mean, it's, it, it just makes it, it just, it makes it so easy. One of the biggest questions we get in customer service is cut settings. Why is it not cutting? on other machines um, and it's one of the things that puts people off making a start because they've read about it they're worried about it they're nervous about it um, and I, you know this gets rid of all of those stumbling blocks you just pop your material on the mission on the mat and then you go so it's definitely worth definitely worth investing in um, and with a new roller system that's on this model it's the latest technology as well um, and it, which has enabled it to be that bit quieter. But it, as you saw when it loaded it in and out, it's, it's calibrated so neat precisely. It brought, drew the mat in very carefully. I mean, it's, it's a new mat, but I know for a fact by the way these are and how it works, there'll be no mat edge curling on this. Um, That's unusual. Which is unusual, yeah. You look like you've got a question. No. No? So has anybody got any questions? I was just drifting off to sleep. Oh, we're lipping it. Guys, help me out. Keep him entertained. Keep him, keep him in questions. Now, how far back can I move this before I lose it out of screen? You'll have to tell me. So, tonight's cut files I want to share with you. I cut them earlier tonight because I wanted to make sure that I didn't run out of time because I have so many things to share and talk to you about. And I want to talk a little bit about secondary processes when you use paper. So don't forget that discount code, PAPER10, which will give you 10% off till midnight Friday the 15th of July for our paper craft section. Um, and that includes our 12 by 12 card and our, new, our A4 card, as well as our new glue um, and transfer adhesive, as well as those principal inkjet sticker paper packs, the um, filmic packs and the magnetic printable sheets that we do as well. So that gives you 10% off all of those. 2035, just so you know. Okay, thank you. So, and we also do a, um, this is printable inkjet paper, and it's it's a ribbed craft paper, with, which is self-adhesive on the back, so it creates stickers, which I think is fantastic if you're wanting to create. This is really popular with people who want to create wedding designs whether it be jars, whether it be bottles, wedding favours, etc. Um, it takes the ink beautifully and cuts and looks like a really old-fashioned label. Um, and it's really, really classy. So I like that. Um, Leslie Bree Shearer has said, just said, I've had the CM600 for about eight years and love it. Wondering whether to upgrade, do you think the DX is much better? I do. 
In fact, what did I say to you before we went live? Because my husband, who's with me tonight, sadly Anya's still testing positive for COVID, although thankfully she's feeling much better. So Adam, my husband, bless him, has had to come in off the farm fields from haymaking to come and give me a hand with the lives tonight. Um, and he came in and I hadn't seen him all day because he's been busy haymaking and I've been busy in here with uh, a million and one things as always. Um, and what did I say to you when you come in? You said to me, I know what I want for Christmas. I, I know what I want for Christmas. I want an SDX 900. I absolutely love it. I got it out of the box. And in fact, I got it out of the box and the first about 10, 15 minutes into, the, into having it out of the box, I haven't even told you this yet. I text my boss and I sent Alicia, who's the other lady, um, apart from Anya, in customer service, a video and went, oh my goodness, why have I not had this before? <laughs> it's really good. So yes. I'd best sell a few more bales. You'd better sell a few more bales because you're going to need it. Um, so yeah, definitely I would recommend the SDX 900. It is brilliant. Um, and that auto cut, auto blade. I was really worried about it. Uh, I know when um, people talked about it, when the very first brought out auto blades into the market, people were concerned that it wouldn't work. So I was very sceptical, but it's fabulous. And I've tried it on a whole host of different materials today to make sure I could get to grips and make sure that I could stand here and say, yes, it works really well. And yes, it does work really well. Um, and then when you're using it on vinyl, you have a half cut option, which means that it kiss cuts through the vinyl. So it cuts through the vinyl, but not the paper backer. Sandra Parrish has just said, I had a CM900 and upgraded to SDX for the auto blade alone and it was well worth it. Oh, brilliant. Thank you. What do you use it for? Out of interest, I'd, be, I'd love to know. Is it paper crafts, vinyl, material? I know lots of people talk about different sides of this machine. Um, and, and most people do some different, you know, there's lots of variety of people the that versus, do things. The versatility of it just seem amazing, but I'm guessing it doesn't make hay bales. It doesn't make hay bales. So, Adam, it's not really much use to you. No. But... And it wouldn't look good on the back of a tractor. It wouldn't look good on the back of a tractor. But, you know, apart from that, it's really good. Yeah. So, tonight's cut files I've got for you. Please comment if you'd like them. These were really popular last time we did them. So we did this 21 and they ha are still available on the website. Um, but the cut files from tonight are not available on the website, but you are very welcome to have them. So please let me or Anya or Adam know and we will send you them. Um, I'll show you what they are in a moment. But these were the other ones we did. So we did a 40th birthday, a 21st birthday, and we've done lots of different things, which I'll talk to you about in a moment. We did an 18th, a 21st, there's lots on the website. But tonight I've got more. So, including this beautiful 25th birthday, and I've got some other demonstrations to show you, including a 100th birthday, a 30th birthday, a 13th birthday, a 16th birthday, and a 50th birthday, 25th wedding anniversary, and a 50th wedding anniversary. And there's one more in there, and I did these files yesterday, and I can't remember which one it is. But that'd be a surprise for you. And then also in there is some flowers because I want to show the versatility of our paper crafts. Now, GM Crafts paper craft section has grown enormously this year. And I've got some 12x12s I want to share with you. My absolute favourite, I used to work for a paper craft company before I um, worked with GM Crafts a, little while, a long while ago now. And um, craft card, true craft card, was like the crafting nirvana. If any of you know craft card, you'll know it is very difficult to get true craft card, brown craft card. But this, we've done it. And it's beautiful. It's a lovely craft finish. It's got a, a softer side and then what I call a mottled side, which is true craft card. It really is incredible. I love it. And I made this earlier on TikTok with it. Um, so it's, it makes a great um, 3D design. I also ran it through my embossing machine earlier on today. Now we don't sell embossing machines, so obviously there's no point in sitting here actually running it through an embossing machine in front of you. But I did run it through an embossing machine earlier and then I put some craft ink on it during our TikTok live earlier on, which I'll talk to you about in a bit. And I also ran it through a die cutter to do die cuts um, to make shaped cards, to try it that way. That, and it really is 
a fantastic quality of card. I would say it's about 270, 290 GSM, which is perfect. It's not too heavy, but it is very, as you can hear, stiff. Very stiff. You right there? Yeah, yeah. Sandra Parrish has responded to your question earlier because you asked these questions and they talk so much I can't actually oh. get them out. Um, but, but that is your job. She said, uh, I use it for vinyl, paper crafts, and love 3D crafting in card, which is good because you've yeah. just been talking about card. And she said then, I could probably make paper hay bales, but no bigger than 12 by 12, I don't think. Yeah, that's so true. That probably, yeah, not too useful for me. But still a good thought. Yeah, you wouldn't get much. You'd have to spend an awful lot of time getting that ready for your bedding for your animals, wouldn't yeah, you? Would. Yeah, you would. But... It is a fantastic one. Now, when I used to work, where I used to work, we used to make all sorts. Do you remember the bandstands? We, you, if any of you watch Create and Craft, you'll remember, remember the three D, the bandstands, the three D churches, yeah. all the different three D villages that we created, and you put lights in them. Um, and you can still get all those cut files available on, on, on online. You can download them and you can buy them in a USB. Um, I don't know whether I said earlier again tonight. The other beauty of this machine is its USB socket, which means you can preload any cut files you want on there or you can buy them. And then you can pop the USB in your machine, bring them onto the uh, screen here, which puts them on the cutting mat resize them, rejig them, weld them, do all sorts of things with them, merge them with other, other parts to make something personalised and cut to your heart's content. Um, and you can also draw with it. You've got uh, foiling kits that are available for it. There are rhinestone kits. There's all sorts of things that I'm not even touching on tonight that this machine can do. Um, and it really, it, honestly, it, it's, it, I, it's a must have. Sabrina Lappi has also has said, is there a starter bundle you'd recommend getting with it too? I don't know if there is. Right, depends. Does she want to use it for vinyl? Does she want to use it for card? Or does she want to use it for something else? And then that will help yeah, me direct her. I have no idea, her. but I'll tell you in about 15 minutes when I can get a word in. Okay. <laughs> He's so rude, isn't he? But it's, I like him. <laughs> Probably a good job. Probably a good job. We've been married 22 years next month. Can you believe it? Oh, yeah. 22 years. He says that like it's a surprise. I'm the one who usually forgets. You are. And Adam's the one that remembers and then looks at me all mournfully and goes, I can't believe you've forgotten again. Again? <laughs> one year he said to me, how long have we been married? And I said, um... And he went, you don't know, do you? It's not difficult. We were married in the year 2000. Work it out. <laughs> Right, so there is so much you can do with these. I want to show you. We have loads of... Let me just quickly show you. What time are we on? Because I don't want to hold over me all night. What time are we on, Adam? We are on uh, 8.44. Oh, that's all right. We've got lots of time. So we've got glitter card. This is non-shed glitter, available in 12 by 12, but also available as A4. And I have to say, for those, and you'll see loads of our posts across social media, lots of our customers share their cake toppers they've made with us using our non-shed glitter card, amongst our other cards as well. In fact, there's a couple of posts I put on there over the last week or so. Um, and they, and if you ever want to see, just have a look at our, our, our Instagram's a great one because people tag you or put our hashtag into Instagram and you'll come up, it'll show you all the things people make with our products which then is it, it keeps a permanent record which is brilliant and we do have this cake topper tutorial on our blog so if you'd like the link for that please comment and Anya or if it's after the live has ended one of us will pop along and give you those links um, but there is so many things you can do with card and we aren't even touching on that really tonight but there is so much so Sabrina said yep. mainly vinyl and card crafts okay Sabrina if you want to use your paper 10 discount yeah. on your paper crafts, add whatever card you want to your bundle to your basket and add that paper 10 code and make sure you use it before midnight Friday. I would recommend just choose whatever card you want and it will give you the multi-buy discount as it goes along. Once that's done and added into your basket, add that paper 10 and that's the cheapest way of doing that. We do on our mystery boxes have bundles for self-adhesive and HTV and mixtures of different things 
that we, you can choose as a bundle. But we also do starter kits on our website as a starter kit section. So that might be the way you want to go. Grab a, a HTV starter kit, a self-adhesive starter kit, and then you can move out from that. The machine, we've got two, I think, left in stock, I noticed a minute ago. Um, so do grab those um, while you can, because I don't know when our next delivery is. It won't be long, but it, um, I can't guarantee it will be this week. Um, and we've got it on a great price at the moment. And as I said earlier, we've got that three-year extended warranty when you buy it from us, which gives you that ability to have that peace of mind, which is better than any of the other cutting machines on the market. That's a, a brilliant warranty period. And it's a UK-based warranty. So, again, it will go to the UK service centre if there's a problem. But saying that, I mean, I've had my scanner cut for a very long time and it's never needed any help. But it's still nice to have that three years peace of mind. Craft card, are you right over there? Yeah. We also do this beautiful holographic sparks card, again, available in the A4 and the 12 by 12 size. Is my light all right? Because I've got all my lights on, but I feel it's quite dull in here tonight. That's no, just me. Ah. Mylar, we talked about this very briefly earlier. Again, that 10% discount code will work on your Mylar. This is brilliant for creating stencils, long-lasting stencils that you can wipe, reuse and reuse and reuse. Um, so they're really good for home decor projects, upcycling projects, stenciling for card, paper crafts. You name it, Mylar is fantastic. And I've actually seen a lot of people use Mylar in their 3D modelling as well. Um, so, and obviously the scanning cut can cut that. More glitter card, and then we've got solid core card. I'm just giving you a, a handful of what I've got here that arrived. Um, solid core card, we've got a variety of colours in the solid core range. Um, in the A4 size, we've got more colours because we've got the pastels as well, um, which I think are coming in the 12 by 12, but we haven't got those yet. And then we've got the solid dark and bright, what I'd call the solid dark and bright colours in the both sizes. The solid core card is literally as it sounds, it is completely solid. So it's ideal if you're making models. It's ideal if you're making 3D designs like this because you're not getting any white edges on those cuts, which means that you get a much more professional finish. Um, and then we've got more white cards and we've even got linen effect. So if you haven't got an embossing machine, you don't need to worry because we have that covered as well. Now I've probably covered everything else that I've got down here. So let's show you some of this, how to use some of this card. I just want to quickly show you, I haven't got time to show you it properly, but I wanted to show you, we've got some tutorials on our website that talk to you about paper craft flowers. And we've got, it's um, two cut files you get, well more than two actually, it's a box. Uh, if, flower, if mums were flowers, I would pick you. If friends were flowers, I would pick you. And then you've got some foliage and you've got some flowers and a tutorial showing you on the website blog how to make it into a light box um, shadow box, which is really, really, really nice. So, And those 3D flowers are also in there. And again, we talk you through on the blog how to shape them and how to make them more 3D. But I would normally ink with a distress ink or a, a non-pigment ink and rub my sponge, this is just a cheap household sponge, and I would rub my sponge around the edges to give some definition on the edge of the flowers. And again, this is covered in the blog, so don't panic, you don't have to remember. And then you've got different shape and size ball tools. And I've got an old, this really is an old piece of packing foam that I use. And as you can see, I've used it for all sorts of things when I'm making projects. I, I put sticky um, holes in it and I use it for all sorts of things. But you run your ball tool, and depending where you run your ball tool will depend on the shape that you get from your flower. So you can run your ball tool round, you can run it through to create veins, and it will, as you layer each one, once you've shaped it, you end up with what looks like a porcelain flower, and it is really, really effective. Um, and that, that blog and video that we've got on there really does show that to a much better, quicker, uh, much more lengthy explanation than I'm doing right now. But this is just to give you some ideas on how you can use it. Once I've done the front, I always push through on the back. And what that does is it allows me then to layer each card, each layer of the petal. So you end up with lots of different 3D bits and you end up with a very 3D effect flower. So that's one way of using them. Another way 
is to get your tweezers or a pokey tool and you just literally, she says, I can't find the tweezers, so I'll use a pokey tool. You get your tweezers or your pokey tool or a pen, I've even done it with, and you just curl the, the, the frongs or the petals, depending on whether it's foliage or flower. And that is how another way of shaping your flowers. But the tutorial we've created with the blog really does talk to you about how to do that. So that's one way of using our paper and card. It's not paper, it is card. Um, we've already talked about embossing it and running and rubbing ink over it. And I want to show you, you can also get extra different effects. Now this is that Sparks card, which I'm going to show you how to, I've created a design with it in a minute. This is the holographic Sparks. And you can actually get your Sharpie pen. So although it's silver, you get a Sharpie pen. You can change it and let it go to, with your Sharpie pen to any colour you want. And then once that's dried, I tend to rub it over, get a sponge, buff it to get rid of any of the pen marks that you get. And you can use your alcohol pens to do this. You can use pastel pens to do this and you build up a colouring effect with that and then you end up with a coloured holographic sparkle card. You've got different distress inks, you've got different pastel chalks, inks, and the, 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 there really is endless possibilities with our card. Now the plain cards like your craft card and your coloured cards, you can also stamp which is I, I think another great way of bringing in extra texture and extra finish to but really lift your card levels to wherever you want them to be, really. You're right over there, Adam. What? You're right over there. Yeah, sorry, drifting again. Oh dear. As I say, just talking to Anya, she's having some issues. She can't actually hear the live, but she's just responding to the um, comments. Oh dear, she got a signal issue. Her Gl end. There was a glitch. Can everybody else hear us okay? In the matrix. So I want to show you this 100th birthday card. This is one of the free cut files from tonight. Now you could make it like that, 3D, like we did with the 25th. Or you could take another one of our cards, the free cut files, get a piece of card or fold a piece of card to create your card blank. Mix and match it. There really is no rules where card making is concerned. I've cut two layers from this free 30. This is upside down, isn't it? There we go, from the 30 card. So you can then mix that with vinyl and create your own design, or like I'm going to do right now, I'm gonna mix it with a bit of vinyl, or you could make, so use some of our sticker packs. And again, you could actually decorate it and make your own design that way as well. Have we established, can everybody else hear us okay? I've never said whether they can or they can't. Pattern vinyl is ideal for card making and paper crafts. Yes, can hear you. Signal has dropped, dropped a few times though. That must be the atmospherics for the weather. It's the only thing I can think of because it's so warm. I don't know what else it could be. Yeah. Hopefully you can all hear us still. We will reload this back into Facebook later and onto YouTube as well. So... I'm going to use some of our self-adhesive vinyl. Maybe a cat sat on the root. Do you want to go and see? No. Does that mean I'd have to walk? Yeah, poor Adam's struggling. He's got get on top of the haymaking. He's got gout. Um, in my left ankle and right knee. In his left ankle and right knee. So he's not having a good day today. Right. So I've got some scissors, and I'm going to create. You could obviously cut this with your paper trimmer. You could cut this with your scanning cut. Most people are saying they can hear you loud and clear, but it, it did drop a couple of times briefly. Okay, well, that's very... It's probably a satellite swapping a over. satellite swapping over. We're on satellite here, which 99.9% .9 of the time, in fact, 99.99% of the time, you wouldn't know. Um, it doesn't cause us a problem. Right. So, I want to make sure I've got my vinyl the right way up. If you're running freestyle like I am, then obviously you can trim with your scissors as you go. Five minutes till nine. Okay. 
Don't forget that paper 10 discount code tonight, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. That will expire midnight Friday, the 15th of July, 2022. Now, I have some different live um, info to show you next week. I'm not going to tell you what it is. It's quite exciting. Um, and I have some other ideas planned. But is there anything in particular you would like us to show you, be it on a live, a tutorial blog that we do, or anything else for that matter? Do let us know, because we love to hear from you. Um, and we love to get your ideas and interest and feedback. Um, so I put some vinyl on my card. Now you could layer this, you could change your colours, but this is just giving you some different ideas on ways to use our cut files. So you could do that. And then I'm going to get the 3D foam pads. She says, where are they? Oh, they're here behind me, gone blind. And literally add a couple to put this on the card. Again, you could do anything you like with this. You don't have to do it the way I've done it. You can do it the traditional way, like this with the easel, what I'd call the easel 3D card. Or you can do it as a cake topper. Or you could use it as a jumper file. Or you could use it with your sublimation software. Have you seen our sublimation products? We've got a Sawgrass sublimation printer. We do it as an A3 size and or an A4 size. We do all the different blanks. We've got all the different media. And we do have, again, lives that we've been making with it. And we do have some tutorials and different things on our YouTube channel. And there is a fantastic backup for that, an aftercare service, as you would learn, come to expect from us at GM Crafts. Um, and of course don't forget tonight if you are interested in that scan and cut that we have got the um, discount code for five days from John Bloodworth that's the gentleman crafter who I don't know whether you are all familiar with him but he does a lot of online courses um, it's somebody I'm aware of that I used to work with or work near we were in the same building um, and he's very good and at providing tutorials but he's not the only person who provides tutorials there are lots of free online tutorials as well and there are lots of different informations available on the cry cut and the silhouette and the brother scan and cut as well but obviously john does primarily use the scan and cut and he's very experienced in all the different functions and abilities it can do but also is very good at teaching people how to use it I think I've put that one upside down. Oh, I have. I put me 30 on the wrong way around, I think. Yeah, I have. He's also very experienced as well, so he knows a lot about paper crafts and knows a lot about embroidery. So he's he's a great, if you need a helping hand and want a bit of encouragement, then that's a good starting point as well. I've messed that up royally, Adam. Have you? Yeah, I have. I wasn't even watching. Yeah. I was too busy doing what I was told and watching the comments. Uh-huh. If ever this happens, you can recut Don't it. Don't panic, Mr. Mannering. Yeah, you can recut it. But the beauty of really good quality craft card is when you've got a sticky pad like this and with, you can literally rub. If you rub around in a circle, you'll actually remove that sticky residue, which it says. Coming. There we go. Kay has just said, without your videos and free files, I would have been terrible. They are so helpful. Thank you all. Oh, thanks, Kay. It does make our, our day, really, it does, to help everybody. If there's anything anybody ever needs assistance with, we're always there to give a, a helping hand. If one of the girls answers and she's not sure, then they quite often will come and find me. If I'm not on duty, as soon as I am, obviously I come back to you. And there's plenty of other people in the building at head office that do have product knowledge and obviously crafting knowledge as well. And we do like to help everyone where we can. As Susan said, John Bloodsworth courses are for SNC. I suppose that means... Yeah, scan, scan and cut, cut, that's right. And Canvas a one, uh, a wonderful, is a wonderful teacher. He is, he's very patient and the way demonstrates is is very very easy to understand I think I think she'll agree with me there so 
Another cut file is this 100. I just want to quickly show you how to add that. I'll try not to stick this one up on the wrong way back. That's the beauty of doing a live. You, if you make a mistake, there's no escape. So guys, what would you like to see in the coming weeks on the lives? Have you got a preference? Is there something you're dying to know that we can show you? Is there a, a, a technique that you'd like or a product that you'd like to see us use? Have you seen, talking of products, have you seen our new vinyls that we've just launched on the website? There's so many new products that I've, I've not even covered them. There is Sublistop, which is fantastic for putting with sublimation products um, so that you can prevent any leakage through. So if you've got, I don't know, uh, a black, for example, a black tattoo t-shirt design in sublimation, and then you want to put a uh, red, I don't know, wow word across it, then Sublistop HTV is the one you'd want. Um, there is a couple of different products for the soft shell type jackets um, and there is the new patch twill which we did demonstrate the other week. Have you seen that yet? Um, we do have a tutorial blog on the website using that as well. Patch twill allows you to create HTV designs that look like they've been embroidered for anybody that's not seen it. I've got a couple of samples would you like to see um, from the live that I made the other week. Um, I can show you in a moment if you would like. Now, don't forget that paper 10 discount code. Of course, that is only available until midnight Friday. That's Friday the 15th of July, 2022. And it will allow you 10% off all of our paper craft section on the website. So that includes your A4 size card, your 12 by 12, that Mylar. It includes our transfer adhesive which I've not even talked really about tonight. That's one that I do talk about with you quite often. And I'll say to you, it changes self HTV into self-adhesive. You can also use it with glitter. You can use it in embossing powders. You can use it with uh, puff, um, which is like a texture. You could use it with all sorts of things. So that it gives you 10% off that. It also gives you 10% off all of our printable products. So that in the paper cross section. So that includes that filmic vinyl that we used last week. I don't know whether you saw that tutorial. I've got the sample here. I'll just quickly show you, actually. So the filmic vinyl, it gives you 10% off that as well. So this I put on candles last week. If you want the link to this live to re-watch it, it is on our Facebook, but it is also on our YouTube, so you can go back and watch that live. Um, and we also made this, which the live on TikTok last week is still on is on youtube so you can re-watch that and obviously you can still have this free cut file which was i thought ideal for weddings um so love laughter and happily ever after but it isn't just for weddings is it it's quite a nice th that's quite a nice sentiment i think for any time uh, i can see this is probably going to end up on my mantelpiece um, because i quite like that so there is a 10 percent discount available on the paper craft section using that Papercraft 10 discount code until midnight Friday. That's Friday the 15th of July, so don't forget to use that. And of course, we are live again tomorrow night on Instagram at 8 p.m. And then we're back again with you on Facebook and TikTok next Wednesday. So TikTok's always 7 p.m. Facebook is always 8 p.m. Has we got any questions over there, Adam? Questions? No, there's just uh, quite a few comments going on about uh, John Bloodworth and how good he is. That's so nice. It's, it's nice that people are aware of him as well. Yeah. And, you know, it's nice that they're confirming that he's really good. Yeah. Anybody got any questions? Have anybody got anything they'd like me to answer? Or would, would you like any advice? Um, of course, if you want the free cut files from tonight, or even last week's free cut file, please do let us know. And Anya or myself will pop along later and send that to you, if we haven't done already by now. Um... And do you want to just quickly see the patch twill? Did anybody see the patch twill last week? Let me just grab it while I remember. So patch twill allows you to create designs that look embroidered. So they're patches that you apply your HTV onto after applying the patch itself. So I have got a tutorial on the website, which you're very welcome to have the link for with free cut files for this. And this one, I used two patches. So I used the red, layered the HTV design on it. Then I did the yellow and layered that on as well. 
um, and this was a bit of a, t it's a t-shirt for my grandson, it's a bit of a play on being a bit cheeky really, um, so you know he's six years old, he's football mad and obviously it's a red and yellow card, a yellow card being that you're on a warning, um, so and his dad said he's been a bit naughty so it was a bit of a nanny says that you're on a warning, so that's what I made that for. And then I also made this with you. And again, these lives are available as well on our YouTube channel and Facebook still. Um, and this was a diamond shape that we did. I'll get the patches in a moment to show you. And our circle patch twill. Um, and again, those cut files are available and you can resize them and you can reuse them. And those lives are still there for you. Are you all right over there, Adam? Yeah, it's just going to say it's six minutes past nine. Okay. Uh, Sabrina has said, is there any chance... On one of the future lives, we can look at how to make our own stickers. Yes, absolutely. Um, we do have print and cut tutorials on the website already on our blog that I've made. Um, so one of the print and cut tutorials was teaching you how to make these using our filmic vinyl. So I provide you on the on the blog with the tutorial on how to make these. And so you get those cut files um, and then obviously you saw the end result at the end. Um, there is also another cut file and tutorial for stickers for a year planner, which we, is on the blog. And there is another cut file tutorial for magnets. Um, but I will definitely look at bringing you a print and cut idea on a blog and um, on a live as well. So, yes, absolutely. I'll add that to my list. Um, so any questions whatsoever after the live has ended, if you want these free cut files, there's lots of numbers, uh, birthdays, anniversaries as well as these flowers that I mentioned in the cut file tonight. Please do comment. Let us know if there's anything you need any help or assistance with. And of course, we'll look forward to seeing you. If you wish to join us tomorrow night on Instagram, then we will be on Instagram at 8 p.m. And we will be back again next week live, 7 p.m. on TikTok from Wednesday, 8 p.m. on Facebook, and of course, 8 p.m. on Thursday on Instagram. So. Thanks ever so much as always for joining us. Thank you very much, Adam, for putting up with us. Oh, it's been a pleasure. And obviously we hope, Anya, to have you back soon, testing negative. Um, and uh, look forward to seeing you soon. Take care. Bye.